This week's adventure, I'm heading into Myrtleford to learn how to make mosaics with the ladies behind the Myrtleford Mosaic Trail. The two crackpots are a couple of anonymous street artists who for the past few years have been transforming their town of Myrtleford into the mosaic capital of Victoria. Hi Sam! How's it going? Good morning! I've just got to the crackpots workshop. So a lot of their tiles and crockery, they've come from up shops or things that they've scavenged and if they've been at a restaurant and a plate's dropped on the floor, they'll ask for the plate. And um, they managed to collect a, a lot and there's just so much here that's different colours, different textures. It's awesome. So I've been given my own little workspace here. Um, I've got a couple of outdoor magazines to inspire some sort of outdoorsy mosaic. First job is to draw it on paper and then put it over some mesh. I've got my outline done. I've just been wandering yeah. around, looking yeah. at all the collections of broken, semi-broken, unbroken tiles that I can put together. Just work everywhere. The cat that was over there had, had a lot of detail. How do you figure out how many little pieces you want? Yeah, there's so much detail on some of these. The tile yeah. dictates a bit, and also, okay. um, like, you know, when, when I'm going to do his fur, I'm yep. going to use lots of little bits like that rather than one big slab, I think. So I'm up to gluing a few pieces on. Yeah. It's like trying to put together a, um, a jigsaw puzzle, except you've got to make the pieces and then figure out where they need to go. These guys run classes, so if you're uh, if you're interested, have a look online um, on Instagram, and Facebook for the Myrtleford Mosaic Trail, and you'll be able to uh, send them a message about classes. This is a good way to spend a Friday morning. Yeah, coffee, cake, good banter. For the crackpots, mosaics were all about friendships, extra long tea breaks, and delayed gratification. It was clear I was going to have to come back the following day to finish mine. Morning. I mentioned before that I might need some little loops or something that looks a little metallic for my mosaic and uh, the crackpots have brought out this jewelry box with all these little hidden treasures donated by the upshops. Have you guys managed to stay relatively anonymous or it's... I totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just about to head into town with um, crackpot one and crackpot two. We're going to scout out some places to put mosaics. I feel like I know the identity of Batman and I'm walking around town with Bruce Wayne. I know the secret, but nobody else does. So we found a location. Now I was starting to get a little bit nervous about tonight. Where do you want to put it, Stan? Got any ideas? So are you guys sure we're allowed to do this? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. It does feel like every time a car goes past that we're doing something that we shouldn't be doing. That's why you don't do it on a Saturday night in Myrtleford. I can see why they get a thrill out of doing this at night and bringing beautiful street art to rural Victoria. Sometimes it's a two-person job. It feels like we're doing something very, very mischievous. Civil disobedience, <laughs> Civil disobedience. I try to wear clothes that would camouflage and blend in oh, in the evening. <laughs> now I'm gone. This is awesome. I love that it goes right yeah, up to that little hand. Right, and this bit on here. Yeah, I'm proud of that. That was um, that's such a cool experience hanging out with the crackpots and getting to know them. And they're such cool people, and I love what they stand for and and what they what they're promoting with uh, with their artwork here. It's awesome. <laughs>